Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the physical properties of minerals that allow us to categorise and identify them. We're going to talk about the colour or streak, luster, hardness, cleavage and chemical reaction with acid. So firstly, colour isn't a very good way to identify minerals. And this is because different minerals can take different colours depending on the uh, substances that they're mixed with. So a better indication of the composition of a mineral is the streak. Now the streak can be found by grinding the rock or mineral up into very, very fine granules. And the way we do this as a test is we rub the mineral along a white tile and it will leave a characteristic coloured mark. And this coloured mark may be different to the natural appearance of the mineral in its solid form. The next thing we're going to look at is luster, and this is the way that the mineral reflects light. There's a lot of different types of luster, and they can generally be classed in as metallic luster, where a mineral will shine like a metal, or non-metallic luster. And there's a few different types of non-metallic luster, including glassy, where it looks like glass and you can see through it, greasy, pearly, where it reflects light like a pearl, and waxy, where it both looks and feels waxy to touch. Another good scale of identifying a mineral is its hardness. Now, Mr. Moe came up with the Moe scale for hard, how hard different minerals are. And it goes from talc at 1, which you can scratch with your fingernail, and diamond at 10, which you can't scratch with anything. Basically how it works is that a mineral with a low hardness scale is going to scratch when rubbed against a mineral with a high hardness scale. So for example, if you rubbed quartz and fluorite together, the quartz would scratch the fluorite. The next thing we'll talk about is cleavage. And unfortunately, it's not as exciting as it sounds. When we're talking about cleavage, we're looking at the tendency for the mineral to split along a single plane. So for example, mica is something that has very good cleavage. When it breaks, it breaks into these thin sheets that you can see here. Quartz doesn't have very good cleavage. When it breaks, it shatters along lots of different planes. And finally, we have chemical reaction with an acid. Basically, if you place a sample of a mineral in a dilute acid, if it contains calcium carbonate, it will fizz. And this will be able to further narrow down what mineral that you have. In this video, we've looked at the different properties that we use to identify minerals. We've looked at the colour or the streak, which we get by rubbing the mineral against a white tile. Lustre, by looking at the mineral and working out how the light shines off it and what it looks like. We've talked about Mohs scale of hardness, going from 1 talc up to diamond at 10. We've talked about cleavage, which is how easily the rock breaks into flat planes. And we've talked about the chemical reaction that you get when you place the mineral in a dilute acid, showing that there is calcium carbonate within that mineral. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.